When it's Saturday night, I need to blow off some steam. Welcome to another episode of AM Whiskey. I'm Aaron, and this is Mark. And today, we're going to continue the Year of the Rye theme with Little Book, Chapter 8, Path Not Taken. What my, do we know? My favorite color Jim Beam box. I like the black box over the brown box. Little book boxes are definitely cooler. This is a blended rye, I believe. 116 point something. Wow. It is a 18 year Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. That's high rye. With an 11 year Kentucky straight rye whiskey. A 7 year Kentucky straight rye malt whiskey. Five year Kentucky straight rye whiskey, Kentucky, Kentucky family style. I don't know what family style means. Five year Kentucky straight rye whiskey, Pennsylvania family style. I don't know what that means. Like, it's like an A overhaul. Well, that's the Pennsylvania style. I don't know what the family style means. Mm. Five year Kentucky straight rye whiskey, Pennsylvania family style, chart number four. Uh, four-year Kentucky straight rye whiskey. 118.2 proof. I was wrong earlier. Hmm. All right. I mean, Little Book Chapter 7 was great. Uh, and, you know, you hear all the time that that uh, Booker's rye was one of the best ryes ever. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, I don't know that it'll live up to that, but it's got some decent color, nice amber to it, maybe a little bit of mahogany. I mean, I guess technically this is a bull rye since the first one in there is a Kentucky straight bourbon. bourbon. Is it? Yeah, it's yeah. like the old bourbon, almost like the um, Hardin's Creek type series. Yeah, it's a Ooh. it's a bourbon, but it's a high rye bourbon. Right, high rye it's bourbon. Eighteen years, so it's the old granddad recipe, I'm sure. Yeah. And then the, yeah, something that it's in the age range of the Hardin's Creek series. Mm -hmm. so, smells good. Smells really good. Um, kind of light, sweet, and slightly um, herbal on the nose. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to guess this is going to lean more towards the Kentucky rye, where you're going to get that, you know, 51% corn or, or close to it, so... Or uh, uh, 51% rye, I mean. I don't know, it's a blend. Yeah. There's quite a few of the younger stuff is pretty Although there's some rye. there's some definite herbal notes coming out on this. And some oak in the background. Yeah. I mean, I just got some little bit of dill, a little bit of mint. Mm-hmm. But then there's those caramels, the vanillas, a little it's white pepper. Like humming more and more complex yeah. over time the more i smell it the maybe more i swirl it around the glass the yeah, more i get the tray. oils on it i definitely like the nose of this it does have a good nose it does indeed and it's getting better and better over time Ooh. yeah every time i go back to it i I'm get like, something <laughs> slightly different like you this started talking nice. about the dill and the mint and i was just getting it now and then i get the pepper yeah. and now i got the spice that and, nose was straight sweet straight caramels and yeah. brown sugars yeah but then now i'm going back and i'm getting more of those herbal earthy notes yeah when i smell it high in the glass i can get the oak backer Oh, wow. Yeah. He's good. Wow. Real sweet up front and then transition to this holy mm. medley of different flavors. And there's spice and baking spice and like a dill there. Brown sugar's riding along with it. Yeah, and it's very, the mouthfeel is incredible. Uh -huh. Very thick, oily. Get a little bit of those tongue tinglies um, mm -hmm. from the rye and the proof. Get a nice Kentucky hug, but it's all in the chest. It's not in the mouth. It's no, not, it, it doesn't get warm until it gets here. Not ethanol -y at all in the mouth. It is just straight flavor. And like you said, to me, it was very sweet up front. Mm -hmm. 
um, more towards those caramels, vanillas, the, the little bit of oak, and then as it goes back, just you get some of those more herbal notes. But for me, that first sip, that sweetness is what really came forward. And I got to tell you, I thought it was pretty good on the first sip. Yeah, um, the second sip, I got a little bit of vanilla up front this time. Um, and a little bit more of like a buttery component to it. Like a now that buttery, you just said that. A buttery, bready component. Like the oil, the way the oils come across your palate. There's like a, a breadiness or an oiliness to it. It's almost kind of like a, a sweet cornbread with like a honey chive butter. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. No? What's funny is I haven't gotten any of the dill to come through or the mint. I haven't gotten dill. I got a little bit of mint, but there's just that little backing of herbalness that's not, it's it's slight, but you can just catch it on the undertones. Mm -hmm. Predominantly sweet. With a linger, <laughs> predominantly sweet with what I think a, a lingering uh, rye rye characteristic right a little bit of spice the flavor the, the finish is definitely going to get you on the on the side in the back palate with mm -hmm. some of that that spice characteristic <clears throat> and the kind of tongue tinglies you might need some water there you're kind of like you know well i just got a little frog caught in my throat you might have to drink more whiskey to get rid of that yeah might have, have, grandma, have to uh, have grandma's cough syrup this is pretty good uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is this is real good. This goes right in line with the year of the rye. I'm really, I'm really struggling already. I'm torn. Like I really like this. Yeah, this this is this is really good. This is up there for I me. Mean, this is this is tapping on exceptional, or maybe slightly into exceptional. This is really, really good. Um, I'm impressed. What's the MSRP for this? It's like 170. All right. Yeah, you probably see it between 160 and 180 MSRP if no shenanigans going on. Um, would you? If you would you buy it at that? Would point? I buy it at MSRP? 100. percent I agree. I would too. Hey, <laughs> I could see a you know person that's a bourbon drinker is not doesn't like rye. All right, this might be a little bit too much rye for you, but a person that likes bourbon and rye or likes rye, this is I think this is a worth great, it. If you are a bourbon person and maybe occasionally dip your toe into rye, I think you will love this. If you are a bourbon drinker who thinks you don't like rye, this is you know a bourbon drink. friend, this is one you might want to ask them for a pour of because it hits those bourbon notes and gives you that rye characteristic at the end, but it's not overpowering yeah, or overpower. the dominant characteristics. I think as a bourbon drinker, you could drink this and be, wow, this is really good. This could be a high rye bourbon. And you could be like, yeah, that's really good. Um, but it does have enough of those rye characteristics, especially on the nose. I got more of the rye on the nose than mm -hmm. on the palate. But it's got enough of those to satisfy the person that wants this to be a rye. No, I agree. And I think the the older whiskeys, right, that 18, that 11, um, I don't know, was there another 10 in it? Oof. Yeah, 18, 11 are the two older whiskeys. It definitely shines through. You can, it drinks, it drinks special. It drinks aged. It drinks well put together. I think well put together. Yeah. And it takes you on a journey. I mean, every time I went to it on the nose, I got a little something different, a little bit more. Same thing on the palate. I'm getting a little something different every time I go back. It's got that backbone, but uh, you get all the different little accents as you keep going on. Um, I think this is very good. I am going to give this a score of 9.1. Oh, you're, you're gonna go 9.1 as well. How many how many of these things have we done now in a row where we've given the same score to bottle? This is the like the third video. I feel like we're everyone. getting uh well, we've had some good bottles. Oh, they're great. That's, I agree, but this is that's gonna be. It's it's a step up past exceptional. I think it's it in is. the category. It's really really damn good. What I want to do, and maybe let us know in the comments if this is something you'd like to see. But I'd like to compare this to the Wild Turkey Master Key. 
Oh, I'd love some to of those that. premium rise from from two of the mm -hmm. legacy distilleries. I think that would be great. So let us know if that's something you want to see in the comments. Sweet. Like, subscribe, and as always, keep the whiskey flowing. Have a great night. Cheers. Oh, it's, it's real good, dude. Well, let me tell you a little something about me. When it's Saturday night, I need to blow off some steam.